Oh, it is here. Why, with our six credits? Oh no, now I'm down to 50k. But that one matches it real nice. Let's watch his animation. Okay, it's not bad. It has more to do with Assassin's Creed than it does with him, though. Which, I think all of the collaboration skins have been like that, so that's not bad. But I do wish it had something more to do with his gadget. Which, how does his gadget look now with this? It doesn't really look that different, it's just like red in the middle instead of orange. I guess it has like metal, like gilded metal on the side, so slightly different. While I do wish they did more with the gadget, I'd say the overall the skin is an 8 out of 10. But you know what's 10 out of 10 is today's sponsor, R6 Tracker. R6 Tracker is the perfect tool for any Siege player. It's a seamless overlay that you can pop up whenever you want to see the stats of the lobby you're in, or even to track your own stats so you know what's working and what's not. While you have the app open, R6 Tracker will keep tabs on your operator's win-loss and KD, performance on each map, and even performance with each weapon. It also tracks your full match history, which you can go back into and access whenever you want. This is super helpful for me because I can use it to go find out when I got some good clips. The best part is that this app is completely free for you. You can download it now using the link in the description. I personally used it in this video when I was curious how aggressive I could be based on the rank of the enemy team. Turns out I was in a gold and silver lobby, so I got the green light to just run around and go crazy. Thanks to R6 Tracker for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use the description link to download it now. But now let's get back to the video. Now, as is tradition, as soon as I get an elite skin, I jump right into a game trying to get an elite skin animation. And I didn't expect it to be so easy. I played two games back to back where we won 4-0, and each game was about 15 minutes long. Now, I don't want to show you too much of the defender highlights because obviously you're here to see the floor as elite skin. So I'm only going to show you the best of the best. Oh my god. We eat up, we eat up. Perfect impact to let me through the hole. Look at the coordination on this team. We're not even talking to each other. We just know. Oh, yeah. Reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. Floor is. Let's go. Come play, come play. Mass pad room. Oh my god. Went too far. Well, that is the fastest I have ever gone in animation for an elite skin. That was a 14 minute match. 14 minutes. We just ran through that team like I run through chat's mother every night. Wow. Okay. Looks like it might be another 4 0. Oh my. I'm concussed. Where are they? Like a piranha seeking human meat. And back-to-back -back animations. Now that one was a 15-minute match. I wonder if we can get a normal match after this one. This one looks even weirder because it's all dark with uh, the bank fucked up lighting. That was uh, thanks to Dev for that genuine reaction. 
Now, the next match was actually a normal match not done in 14 minutes. And as per usual, we started on defense, so I'm going to try to skip through the defense rounds as fast as I can so you can watch more Flores action. Oh my god. I whiffed like two shots that I needed to hit. I think I only needed one more. She's probably one HP. There we go. Very nice of them to provide me a shield there. Did I down her? I did! How? You didn't hold in the blood. Oh. You gotta say, I'm impressed with my skill shot. Skill shot on the uh, on the nomad. Now we're gonna run some meme strats. I forgot you can't break this. You need an impact. Here's what we do instead. Put this up here to scare them. They're gonna see that and be like, "Oh shit, someone's gonna be holding that." So they're gonna try to push in, and, and then. Oh, it's above. Okay, well. It's above, right? Oh, no. Hmm, the one pushed on the left. I don't think they were even aware, were they? Wait, no, that- oh, that was IQ who pushed on the left and then looped back around. Oh my god. I didn't hear them loop back. My team is unaware. The question is, chat, what should I call the, uh, the Flora's Elite skin video? Should I call it, like, the Assassin's Creed skin, or Flora's, I don't know. I think I moved, which made him turn around to look at me. Why was he repelling there? I do not know. Should be scare. Oh. Let's say scaring them right into Jaeger's path. But... Still there, just waiting for me. Oh. Oh, he didn't peek fast enough. I thought he was gonna re-peek right away. Hope at the end of the season we get a hidden MMR reveal. I don't think we ever will. What's really dumb about it is it's still just win-loss. They claim that they, or someone claimed that Ubisoft announced that they experimented with other options but found that win-loss was always the best to sort people. I feel like they could have done something else.
I just saw his head peek out. place to to sit. What? Is it done? Oh, he was behind the couches? This could finally be a good uh, Flores match. I feel like KD wouldn't change because you just need to stay positive to be considered better. I mean, they have other formulas for it, so like... Cost is kill, objective, survival, trade. So, one thing that they could always check is like, okay, when you die, did you get traded out within the next like 10 seconds? If so, that's not as bad as you just dying to a spawn peak, you know? Like, they have all these checks and balances that they could do, but they just don't. Or maybe it's too difficult for them, I don't know. They have it for Pro League, and they all count it in real time, which is obviously a lot harder than... Or I think it's in real time. A lot harder to implement that into an actual game, but... I feel like they could probably do something similar. But someone claimed on Twitter that they that Ubisoft said that they tried alternative methods and they just could not get something to be as accurate as straight win loss. I don't know why I put my drone over there when I spawned over here. Then again, I also don't know why I spawned over here. Kinda too bad for him, but also get far. How are we struggling so much against this team on defense? We're wiping the floor with them on attack. Maybe it's because I'm all tie now. <laughs> let me type. Why can't I type? Yo, let me type. I was going to type LMAO. The Valkyrie couldn't vault over the counter, so then Kali just killed her. Use one drone so we can see the elite version. Honestly, I've been meaning to, but like, these guys have just been dying so easily that there's no point in me using my drone. I'll have to use it here to clear out traps and uh, clear out their stations with the, uh, what's it called, shield, but the drone's not that different. It looks almost identical. My VG logo is proof enough I've spent too long here. There's no such thing as too long in my channel. When you'll be able to know when it's been too long, when you'll be able to say, and not even be joking, that you found me when I played Siege. That's when it'll be like, holy shit, you've been here for a long time. Because that'll be a few years from now, probably. Mm. 
fucking... Someone jumps out, we're kind of fucked here, but I assume someone will protect me. there but can't really peek that hear someone. Mm -mm. Oh! Wait, he ran all the way around? Why did they not ping that or drone that or say something? I heard him running, but I was like, oh, he's still in kitchen. Like, I have time to push up and hold an angle on the door. Oh, if I had held that angle, I could have easily killed him. One of the YouTube comments will be filled with, man, I miss when Varsity made Valorant content. Those were the good old days. Man, Valorant was one of those games where, like, I tried so hard to like it, and I tried so hard to play it. And, like, I did enjoy it a little bit, at least playing with friends, but... I just have no drive to ever load up that game or ever play it. Like, I just do not like CSGO clone type games. They're boring to me. I've never liked CSGO. So I'll just never like Valorant. Oh, they went upstairs? They lost that site twice. I mean, they're giving it to us for free, I guess. Doo doo at it. I mean, that is probably part of it, but it's just also, it's just not an enjoyable game. Wait, they went theater? Oh. You know how I know it's like just not a good game? Is that the people who spend thousands of hours playing it don't like it. And like have basically stopped playing it. Like even Niall. Niall only just started playing it again because of the newest update, but... Even said before that the game was just so boring. He just shot my drone out of the air. That was impressive. I'll give it to him. Fucking skeet shooting out here. Red locks just in.
I'm in such a bad spot. I only did one bullet's worth of damage? I thought I hit her way more than that. Man, my team did so well in the first two attacks, and then like, the last two have just crumbled. They all died in the first, I want to say, minute. You can't tell me that if you didn't make the money you make from Siege, you'd still be playing it. I mean, this last season, I've actually been enjoying playing it. I don't mind it. I probably would still be playing it. Because uh, I was always like that with my FPSs. I'd pick up like one FPS for a long, or like one game for a long time and just never stop playing it until either it died or until, uh, it's like, who am I going to go? I'm going to go cap. Can we need something to give us the edge? Um, but yeah, I'd just play like one game forever until either no one was left playing it or the game just stopped being supported. So like I did that with Hearthstone, I did that with Smite. Smite has now made a resurgence, which is cool. And then uh, Hearthstone, I kind of just gave up because they, the game never died. The servers or like the, they weren't ever stopped. They never stopped supporting it. Jeez, I can't speak. Um, but the game got to the point where it was just getting so ridiculous that what was the original part of Hearthstone that I liked was no longer in the game. But either way, regardless of whether I'd still play Siege now if I wasn't making money from it, does not change the fact that Valorant is still a boring ass game. And enough that even people like Niall, who are paid to cover the game, stop playing it. So. there. Oh. I don't think I saw her in the first swing, but she saw me in the second one for sure. Oh, that's a... Uh... Okay, team. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. see her fucking left shoulder. Oh no, we're throwing. We're not throwing. We have Case and Callie's last one. It is also their top fragger.
We should be able to win this just off time, because there's no way she can kill both of them and plant. She'll probably kill Rook here. Nope, just kidding. I also thanks for Sub Austin Ho. Alright, we have a chance here to win with Flores with 12 plus kills. As long as we do not choke, we will be fine. Mazie Ella, okay. I don't know who the last two are. I miss Siege School's videos always provide a good perspective on how in-depth the game is. Yeah, but unfortunately now with Siege, it's so complex that Siege School is just like... It would take so much of my time, it's just not worth it. And the views just aren't there to warrant it. It's not quite what I want to see, is uh, them just full sending it. But honestly, I would rather get zero kills in this round and we win. What the fuck? Than lose. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Did she get down? I think she got down. Thank God the last two were bots. Holy shit. We did it. We got a full match with a ton of kills as Flores. How many was that specifically? Oh, actually, I'll let the animation go. It's a little frame ratey when he rolls out of it, but... We dropped 14 kills. And... Six... Ten of them were on Flores. Let's fucking go! I'd like to shout out my teammates. Cool person, guy, ma, meninist, hey, oh, nine, and I don't know, probably. Big MVPs. But I was the real MVP because I got MVP animation.